Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be the second of three game recaps that I do tonight. That at least one night out of the week, if not more, I'm going to pick three games that I'm able to watch. Most of them to be able to recap the game on the evening. But the Ducks and Blue Jackets, not nearly as much goals as the Toronto Maple Leafs game that I just recapped in this one that they lost 5-3 to three to the Tampa Bay Lightning. But a 2-1 to one victory in literally to come down to the wire wire, the ultimate wire, a shootout, which I'm not a fan of, but there was some nice moves that we will get to in a minute in the shootout. But first, to kick off this game, a beautiful cross-ice pass by Eric Robinson. Sean Corrali got the second assist that Alex Texier was able to score with. The Blue Jackets really did push the pace a little bit better in this game and had the better offensive overall pace play through and through their lines, where this team gets great consistent play, where you have Texier and Robinson on your fourth line. Uh, Sean Corrali is playing pretty well on that fourth line as well. Sillinger, the young kid that you drafted just in 2021, already making a huge impact. Justin Danforth, who's played well in eight games, obviously as an undrafted guy. And also, if you're someone, um, other than just an undrafted guy, if you're someone like a Robinson, those types of guys, they always are working their tail off, who's also undrafted, just to stay in the lead, the Danforths of the world and the Eric Robinsons. And both of those guys, Robinson, since coming in, has earned it. And so far, Danforth has looked good. Where anybody that seems to come into Larson's system looks good. But they weren't able to get over the hump tonight because they weren't able to get past one of the best goalies in the land, which is John Gibson. John Gibson had a hell of a performance. He was the star of the night. He was the difference maker of the night. And that continued into the shootout where the only uh, bugaboo there was um, Jake Voracek, who's a very beautiful player in shootout, one of the best in the NHL in shootout. That isn't scoring in bunches goal totals this year, but is an assist wizard with only a goal and 19 assists, but is absolutely fantastic in shootout, slows down, slows the pace on the goaltender, makes a beautiful move, and is able to score on Merce Lincolns, who made a key play in this game, so it didn't get decided before the shootout on that Zegras that was a key factor play of the game as well. Didn't end up being a deciding factor in the end, but made a play that made it get to OT on that breakaway. That was Zegris and Terry, two of the most dangerous guys on the Anaheim Ducks on a two-on-one. But I thought that Zegris line again with Raquel and Milano was absolute dynamite tonight. Obviously, Troy Terry looked amazing yet again. Those guys have been the leaders of the team this year. And then... We also saw Ricard Raquel step up and take face-offs in the overtime as well, which was huge. He hasn't taken as many face-offs of late in his career. So the 28-year-old Raquel was able to step up and really do it and take the face-offs as well and had that aspect for Dallas Eakins as well in the overtime, uh, where I thought that for most of the part, in the beginning there were some chances from the Ducks, but the Columbus Blue Jackets, honestly, when it came to the overtime, <clears throat> um, it was only one-to-one -one shots. They had better possession play at the other end. It just wasn't a shots over time. And they had better possession play and shooting play throughout the game. But John Gibson was the difference maker in regulation. And also Isaac Ludestrom was able to just outbeat Cole Sillinger, another great young player in Sillinger, and be able to get a goal there as he was able to kind of kick it into a little second gear to be able to get a tally of his own where that was a very good game for Ludus from all around. He was being pesky on all players on the Columbus Blue Jackets, frustrating them as he was able to get the goal there. As that um, pretty much recaps the game, minus the last deciding factor for also the guy with Ludestrom and Gibson, who's going to get the star of the game for this evening. And that would be Ricard Raquel, because he's the deciding factor that made the beautiful move and then roofed it over the one of the best goaltenders, uh, young goaltenders in the game, in Elvis Merce Lincolns, who has been struggle bunnying of late, but he's still one of the better young goaltenders of the game. He goes in waves. A lot of young goaltenders go in waves. Look at hard struggles last year, and now he's back this year. Uh, Elvis Merce Lincolns will be back around sooner rather than later. He actually had a hell of a game tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, he just got outbeat by one of the best in the land that's been at it, that's had a Hall of Fame career in John Gibson. So I hope everybody has enjoyed this recap video 
We're a 2-1 shootout victory for the Anaheim Ducks and a beautiful move by Raquel and a great game by Ludestrom overall, and he was able to outbeat Cole Sillinger for that goal. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below to keep showing the love and support. Really appreciate you all and love you for that. Have a blessed uh, rest of your week, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season. Peace out, everybody.